it's Gina. So today I am going to be planting this salad mix that I got free with the order of some seeds that I ordered. So this is supposed to be a salad bowl mix. So I'm assuming there's going to be like, um, oh it says a premium artesian blend of greens that will rival any salad mix from the store. So I'm going to plant these. I'm going to be planting them into inside of here. This is just a um, at Lowe's. It was just called a um, all-purpose um, bin. This is about how wide it is. It's definitely wide enough. I mean, um, depth deep enough for me to plant some greens in. Uh, I don't even remember how much it was. I don't, um, maybe five bucks. I don't even think it was that. Don't remember. Anyway, I'm going to drill some holes into the bottom of this because you definitely want holes at the bottom. Sorry about that. Somebody keeps riding down my neighborhood with a motorcycle. Anyway, um, you definitely want some type of holes, um, some holes drilled in the bottom so that you can create drainage so that when you water the plant, the water just doesn't sit in there and drown your plant. So I'm just going to flip this over and I am just going to drill some holes in there. Oh, let me turn it on. Like that. So I'm going to put, I don't know, maybe six to eight um, holes in it and I will be back. All right guys, it is windy out here so hopefully you can hear me pretty good. Um, one second, sorry. So I'm going to add some of this potty mix to this um, bin and I'm also going to put some of this fertilizer in with the potty mix. I'm gonna moisten this up a bit. Because for one, it's flying around a little bit because it's so dry. is equivalent to about one cubic um, foot of planting soil. 
or potting soil, I should say. All right. So now I'm going to add some of this fertilizer. I'm going to put about three heaping tablespoons. Mix that up in there. I don't think it's going to need a whole, whole lot of fertilizer. This is my first time doing any kind of salad green, so we're going to find out. just doesn't take a lot to grow them. I can tell that already because I have some starts for some Swiss chard and romaine in my house and they popped up really quick and I didn't add any fertilizer. All right. So what I'm going to do I'm not going to do anything special as far as these seeds. That's what they look like. I'm just going to drop some seeds in. However they pop up, they do. I know this ain't how most people will probably do it, but because it ain't specifically something, I'm just going to let them pop up close and uh, abundantly. How about that? We're going to see what happens. All right. That wasn't even a whole pack. There's still some in here. So I'm just going to press it down. gonna um, just pressing it down a little bit some of these are probably gonna get a little buried because I'm shuffling the dirt a little bit but that's all I'm going to do and I will show you guys as they start to grow how they do but this is gonna be a trial and error for all of us so like I said, these were just a mix of some salad greens. I'm going to prop them up somewhere in my garden. And there you go, guys. Talk to you later.